2022. What a year it has been. We started this year with 155,000 subscribers. And now we have more than 350,000 people watching this channel regularly. I want to start by saying a big thanks to everyone who is part of Chendu.org YouTube channel and learning from me. So in this video, I want to share five things that I learned in the last 12 months. Obviously, I learned so many more things than these five, but these five are the standout things for me. So let's go. I could talk about Power Query for the next 12 months and still not be done. So I'll say just this much. This year, I have used more Power Query than all the previous years combined. And that is because I started working with one of the clients here in New Zealand and they have data all over the place. The only way to get this data out is through Power Query. And I was so blessed for Power Query and I discovered so many other ways to use Power Query. For example, before the start of this year, I didn't know how to use Power Query with the workbooks or folders that are on SharePoint. And now I know how to work with that. And I learned so many little tricks and things that will improve my workflow and help me get things done faster at the client's place. So yeah, the number one thing that I learned this year is data is messy, but Power Query is sexy. Most of us, when we think about Excel, we think about the old Excel, the Excel that had row limitations and severe restrictions on what sort of data you can analyze and how much you can do with it. But that's not true with the modern Excel. For example, throughout this year, I kept getting amazed and marveled at how much more we can do with Excel thanks to all these functionality that is available there now. The two things that stand out for me in the modern Excel are the dynamic array functionality as well as power pivot. Dynamic array functionality helps us look at the data and ask questions and analyze the data as a whole set instead of one value at a time. So for example, have you got a big table of data and just want to filter all the values that are meeting a criteria and then sort them. You don't need to write individual formulas anymore. You could use the formulas like filter and sort and maybe even unique on top of them to get the filtered list sorted to you automatically in one big range. How awesome is this? The second standout feature in the modern Excel is the Power Pivot. I have been using more and more Power Pivot in Excel these days, simply because a lot of time when I'm at a client's place and doing the data analysis, Excel is all they have. And they want to still answer powerful questions. No need to worry, we don't have to write like thousands of little formulas or anything. I could set up a power pivot, write some simple DAX measures to get the answers in a more elegant and intuitive way. So the next time someone asks you, isn't Excel a little old or dated? Just tell them Excel is good and it's getting better. So this year, one of my personal goals is to learn how to play a musical instrument. Growing up, I never learned the theory of music or played any of the instruments. But as I enter my 40s, I wanted to learn how to play music. So I thought, let's learn the keyboard or the piano. I tried the same route that most of us do, which is I go to YouTube, search on how to play piano, and then try to teach myself how to do this. But it wasn't fun or I was not able to really understand and play anything. That's when it clicked that maybe I should go and do an in-person training. So I went and joined a local college which runs evening classes for piano or musical keyboard. 
And after one term of attending the classes, I'm able to play a little bit, understand what everything is and not get confused when I read instructions or try to learn on my own. So that is one of the things that I took away from this year that sometimes when you want to learn, maybe we need to try different techniques. So the in-person thing seems to be working very well for me, especially when I'm stuck. So maybe if you are finding certain parts of life hard, like maybe you're trying to figure out the whole DAX thing or how to use Power BI or Python or something, and you think none of the YouTube tutorials are working for you, Check out with a colleague or a friend and see if they can help you in person. Because sometimes that's the thing that we need to cross the hump. This year we decided to move to another house. So I did what I normally do whenever I'm making a big change in my life. I built a spreadsheet to understand what it would cost us to go from one house to another, what the mortgage payments could look like and how all of our expenses and everything would stack up. I built an elaborate spreadsheet just to understand how these things will work. In fact, so much so that I even made a video on the channel about building a mortgage calculator. But here is the kicker. Forecasting is pretty much useless. As most of you might realize by now, since the time I built that spreadsheet and started using it and moved to a different house, the interest rates have gone up significantly where I live. And the same story is true for all over the world. I mean, I could have predicted a little bit of that, but not to the scale or the momentum at which these things are happening. And that is one of the things that we take it for granted in the data analysis world. We always think I have the data, I can analyze it and I can do forecasting, predictive modeling and all sorts of things. But sometimes you may want to stop and check yourself. I'm not altogether saying the whole point of machine learning and forecasting is useless. All I'm saying is you need to add a big dose of salt to your analysis so that you're not really swayed by what the numbers are telling you. Try to look out of the window, go and meet people and then see what the reality is. At least that's what I found. I learned the hard way. Well, I'm not struggling or anything, but it's just that it was useful to see that no amount of spreadsheeting or analysis can help you when the real world changes drastically. And here is the last lesson that I learned. Sometimes you really have to push. This year, I also set a goal to myself that I will learn how to use a different video editing software. I have been using Camtasia for producing and creating these videos since the time I started my YouTube channel, so almost 13 years ago. While Camtasia has been good, I always wanted to learn new things. So this year, I wanted to learn how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. I downloaded the software, I paid for the subscription, and on the first day of using Adobe Premiere Pro, I got so lost, so frustrated that I gave up after maybe three or four hours of trying the software. But then next day I thought, maybe let's give it another try. So I recorded a small video, like a two minute video, and then I wanted to edit that with Adobe Premiere Pro. Again, the same thing happened. No matter how much YouTube tutorials I watch, how many articles I read, how many LinkedIn courses I do, the outcome seemed to be the same. I was not able to understand how to use Premiere Pro. Then this is what I told myself. Normally I wake up quite early in the weekends, like around 4 a.m. or 4.30 in the morning on Saturday and Sunday. So I told myself this weekend, I am dedicating all my morning hours to figuring out of Adobe Premiere Pro. That's it. So I woke up, I got into my office and I sat here and I just pushed myself really hard. I told myself that I'm not getting out of this chair until I figure out how to use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit this two minute video. 
who knew sometimes that is what you need so maybe setting a really hard target and pushing ourselves can really work thanks to that effort i was able to overcome that initial big hump and figure out how to use the software without feeling frustrated or lost i was able to edit the videos i even made some videos with adobe premiere pro on my channel maybe you spotted them but even this video i plan to edit with adobe premiere pro <laughs> So that is how much I have come far since like late October when I bought the Adobe Premiere Pro license. So the lesson here for me is many times life will throw these curveballs at you or things that don't look normal or fun or interesting. And our natural response is I'm going to give up. I have got a comfortable thing going on here. I don't need to struggle with that. But just saying to myself that i'm going to push through this i will try and then give it another chance give it another chance and then see where that will take me i think that mindset is what really helped me so yeah those are the five things that i learned this year i hope you found this information amusing or interesting or useful and no matter where life takes you in the next 12 months i wish you all the best and i hope you will learn some interesting lessons and enrich your knowledge i'm looking forward to see you again somewhere else bye